Drive the Palm Beaches is powered by Discover the Palm Beaches. Log on to thepalmbeaches.tv to learn more. My name is Kat Redner and you're watching Drive the Palm Beaches. This is one of the big ones. Uh -huh. This is Man Disney World. These are all the cars you wish you could have. I love driving to Palm Beaches. I'm standing right next to a Ferrari 250 GT California, the same kind of car that was in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. This one is not for sale. This is um, what's called a Land Rover 101 forward control. It was originally built for the British military. I'm sitting here in a McLaren Senna. Only 500 of these were made. I'm Wayne Carini, and you're watching Drive the Palm Beaches. I never know what's going to happen, but I always know there's going to be something that's not going to work like it's supposed to every day. That's great. Can't beat it. Best feeling ever. With over 100 cars in his collection, Steve Wolf was serious about his automobile. I just love it, it does, yeah. where we live, right? It's a great place to be. Fantastic place to be. You've got Rolls-Royce, you've got Bentley, you've got Ferrari, you've got Porsche, you've got Alfa Romeo, you've got Lamborghini, you've got McLaren. Get ready to drive the Palm Beaches. So this is the biggest Cars and Coffee in the United States. We have a huge turnout. It's the very first weekend of every month. We have supercars, we have electrics, we have muscle, we have classic, we have vintage. Man, that sounds good. Come drive to Palm Beaches. You just gotta hang on and smile. <laughs> By the way, you are watching Drive the Palm Beaches, and don't stop watching. Drive the Palm Beaches is brought to you by Discover the Palm Beaches. Log on to thepalmbeaches.tv to see more. We're here at Wheels Across the Pond, and I'm sitting here in a McLaren Senna. Only 500 of these were made. Let's go check out this awesome event. Neil Archer and you kind of coordinate this whole event so can you tell me a little bit about what you do? I do yeah uh, so Wheels Across the Pond started in 2007 at uh, out in Jupiter Farms we had a British pub out there I own the British pub and I thought about doing a car show a little one a little meet and um, we ended up getting uh, 45 cars to our first meet and then a friend of mine who brought the cars in he says why don't you think about doing a show and so I'm like what a real show with cars and trophies and classes so it ended up that we did our first show in 2007 and we got 145 cars wow. yeah that's really so, good for the yeah, first year it was amazing we were blown away uh, 95 goodie bags before the show and then the load turned up on the day um, this year is our 13th year so we moved out to Carlin Park on the present location in 2010 and we've been here ever since and this year was 260 entries wow ahead of the show and we just hit 301 and we've never gone above 300, so that's pretty good. Cool. That's awesome. So this yeah. year you're celebrating Bentleys, right? We have, yeah. 100 years. 100 years. Yeah, we've done that a couple of times. We had 100 years of Aston Martin back in 2013, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, we did the 50 years of the E-Type Jaguar. Mm -hmm. We did the 50 years of the Sunbeam Tiger. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if it coordinates with the year mm -hmm. that there's a special event, we'll do something. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, Bentley, we've been waiting for this one. Yeah, you know. it's, a, it's a big year. Yeah, and there's a bunch of Bentleys. You've got to take some, some video footage of the Bentleys here, because the classic 8 litre there, the 31, is a beautiful car. But, you know, some of the modern ones too. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. Yeah. They are gorgeous. I saw them out over there, and I, I just want to take a look at them and sit in them. <laughs> it's just luxurious. Yeah. yeah that's so, um, what is your favorite car here today? Oh, my goodness. It's there's so many. There's so many. It's all about taste, you know? I must say, 
I'm looking down there now at that orange McLaren Senna. Uh -huh. I think there were. I think there were only. You see it that right there? Yeah. I mean, you see a couple of orange I ones. I mean, that's right? a good, good pick. <laughs> there were only 500 of them made in the world, and mm -hmm. I think the last ones that came off the production line sold at auction mm -hmm. for like 2.8 million dollars. It's a it's a hypercar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I love the classics too, but that one for me right now is like... I don't, have you seen the 21 Gold, uh, Rolls Royce Ghost? No, I haven't seen it. From the Boardwalk Empire, that's a pretty cool car too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's up, that. up there with the Rolls and the Bentleys. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you've got a good variety of cars up here. Yeah, we do. If um, someone comes here, what do you, what do you expect to see? Mm -hmm. Explain the Oh my goodness. It's one of those things where you walk through the show field and you... You you look at a car and you get and you're like what's that and then you look next to them and there's six more exactly like that. I'm looking up at the hill right there. We have got twelve Triumph TR6s. It's amazing and people don't see one TR6 let alone twelve around the path there of the amphitheater. There's Austin Healey 3000s. You know that's a hundred and fifty thousand dollar classic any day of the week and we've got nine of them. Um, I, I, it's one of those shows where you know you hear of the car show, mm -hmm. and you know my, most of them here are most muscle cars. You know yeah. they're, they're they're American muscle cars. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. What makes our show so unique is that it's all British and European mm -hmm. classics. You know the little tiny cars. You know yeah. that probably people back in the 60s and 70s would have dreamt that they could own. Yeah. They have never had the means to. Right mm -hmm. now they have the means to, and you know I'm like. I'm 50, and so I grew up with these cars. My, my, my family never had a lot of money, so these were dream cars to them, you know? Now I'm getting into it where I'm thinking, you know, I can have that car now. Because, you know, you get more successful as years go on, right? And you think, oh yeah, it's time to get into a classic again. That's what this show is all about. My name is Glenn Miller and my wife and I, Jane, we are part of Small Town Adventures and we travel the United States in our 1973 MG Midget and write about small town life. It's a great way to travel and it's kind of what this car was designed for in the 70s. We come to Wheels Across the Pond because it's probably one of the larger places for MG Midgets and MGBs in the state of Florida. I love driving to Palm Beaches. Tell me about your VW bus. It's a 1971 walk-through sleeper, which means the table will fold down and the bed comes out into a full five-foot bed. And then the inside is all teak and holly. We rhino line the whole inside, two and a half year restoration, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. I have so much fun with this bus. This is um, what's called a Land Rover 101 forward control. It was originally built for the British military, served most of its time in Germany, that's the reason why it's a left-hand drive. When we first got the vehicle, it was still an ambulance, so it was green, it had the crosses on the side, it was a lot lower and had a slightly different engine. So over the years, the technicians at the store have slowly been modifying it. So we jacked it up, we painted it, had the exoskeletal roll cage built for the vehicle so the next thing we need to do is put power steering into it and it would be also nice if we got some AC. This is a very rare car, it's been built this past year, 500 cars made, it's almost 800 horsepower, it weighs about 2600 pounds and it's actually a track car that you can put number plates on because it's street legal but it's as close to a track car that, is, that you can find. It has tremendous downforce, as you can see by that big wing. So the downforce that this car creates is about half the weight of the car, which means it stays firmly planted to the ground. It's very fast and really easy to drive. It's a magnificent automobile that McLaren has come up with. How fast have you gotten it up to well, so far? Are you taking it slow right now? Well, I've only had it on the street, but you know, or on the highway, let's mm -hmm. say, and maybe get it over 100, let's put it that way. So fast. But you try to watch yourself. Yeah, yeah. You know, better to be on the track. Yeah. But it's a, it's a wonderful stable car, mm -hmm. great car. This is a special order color, it's called Papaya Spark. Mm -hmm. So the McLaren racing colors are, are, um, are this orange, mm -hmm. and usually they have blue if you look at the Formula One mm -hmm. car. So that's a play on that, but this has a nice metal flake. Mm -hmm. So it's called Papaya Spark. So what is it like to have your event here in the Palm Beaches? 
where better? Where else better than this? I've traveled extensively throughout Florida. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, I'm British, and I think a lot of people either end up in Fort Lauderdale or they end up in Orlando because of Disney. Yeah. And then when they get there, it's like, why the hell did we choose this, right? I mean, you're two, you're two hours up the turnpike. I love it here. I live in Jupiter Farms. I sell real estate here. I, I just, I just love where we live, right? It's a great place to be. Fantastic place to be. Drive the Palm Beaches is powered by Discover the Palm Beaches. Log on to thepalmbeaches.tv to learn more. Now therefore be it proclaimed by the Board of County Commissioners of Palm Beach County, Florida, assembled in regular session this seventh day of January 2020, that the second week of January in Palm Beach County is hereby proclaimed by your Board of County Commissioners to be Supercar Week here in this wonderful county. My name is Dave Kerner. I'm the county mayor here at Palm Beach County. I serve on the Board of County Commissioners right down the street. Lifetime uh, native, born and raised here, and a car enthusiast. This is the 10th anniversary of this incredible Supercar Week show. And I just love the family atmosphere. I love that it's free and open to the public. If you look around, there's families here having a good time. Doesn't cost a dime. And it really brings together a sense of community. And it also teaches kids, future drivers, about just how cool cars are but just as importantly, in fact, more importantly, about how to use them safely and how important traffic safety and driver safety is. And, and I, that's something that's very important to me. My passion for auto sports is I've grown up in it. I, I, I've scraped together every penny I've ever had and started with a Ford Mustang GT, the 4.6 liter. My most recent was a GT 500 Shelby. And I've just found something fascinating about American V8 engines. And that's what really got it started for me. And then as I learned about European cars, from Bugatti to Porsche to BMW, I really just fell in love with cars and the way that they produce and that humans come together and make these incredible machines. And I just am very passionate about it. Look at this beautiful setting. We're right here on the intercoastal here in downtown West Palm Beach. We have happy people around us. You live in Palm Beach County, you're generally pretty happy with your settings and the events going on. We have a, a very robust group of auto owners in this county and they really love their auto sports and they're kind enough to bring their vehicles out here free of charge and let us enjoy the specter of them. And so there's a lot of reasons why we're lucky here in Palm Beach County and the weather, the setting, the background and the people. Our Jeep Challenge is American Super Jeep Challenge and it's a TV show that we're airing on Motor Trend this year and uh, we have searched America for the Super Jeep Builder of the Year. It's all about the builder of the Super Jeep. We have Jeeps uh, from Jeep Clubs in the area, 365, Jeep Club Life. We also have DS18 which is a Jeep Club and uh, a lot of these Jeeps are, are modified from the owners. We have some uh, builders that are custom building for the contest, so we have a good variety of cool Jeeps here. It's an all-purpose vehicle, anywhere from uh, the off-road enthusiast that has everything to offer with the Jeep that can go off-road into a lot of rocks and, and off-road terrain, and also the soccer mom that just loves the Jeep for the look. Supercar Week is a fantastic situation here. It's a great show. Uh, this is our second year here at uh, Supercar Week, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. You can't beat the venue. The venue's beautiful, and uh, we love the people that are here and uh, we just hope that our event continues to grow as it as as so as uh, super hard ladies and gentlemen welcome to west palm beach super car week this year's super car week has been super exciting notice i use the word super twice there. That's okay. only because it's the 10th anniversary of our week of events. You know, Supercar started out as a one day event and we started talking about that. Uh, and I said, you know, I, I what I would like to see is this to become the ultimate destination at this time every year for auto enthusiasts, Supercar and everything. I mean, because you know what we have here. We have Supercars, we have electrics, we have muscle, we have classic, we have vintage. We even have a BMX bicycle exhibition, which is total fun.
It's great family fun on the West Palm Beach waterfront. Palm trees, I mean, listen, Palm Beach County is the best place to live, work, and play. I think we're doing okay. Are we doing okay? Not the camera, yes. Okay, good. I'm Tim Bird, the Birdman. This is Supercar Week, the 10th anniversary version of our show. And what a day it's been. By the way, you are watching Drive the Palm Beaches. And don't stop watching. Drive the Palm Beaches is powered by Discover the Palm Beaches. Log on to thepalmbeaches.tv to learn more. We're here at Palm Beach International Raceway and this is the 38th Annual Citrus National. I'm here with Bobby, the General Manager at Palm Beach International Raceway, and we are at the 38th Annual Citrus Nationals. Can you tell me a little bit about what this event is all about? Well, this event, obviously being the 38th year, there's a lot of history here. The last uh, you know, 10 years or so, it's become a one of the best bracket races in South Florida, and we also have an amazing pro show. We've got uh, jet dragsters. Uh, this, this weekend we've got uh, pro mods, uh, some nostalgia uh, uh, front engine dragsters, a lot of really cool cars here. Mm -hmm. And the drag strip is where it's fast, it's loud, it's crazy. Can you tell me about like the atmosphere, the people that come here? You get all different we, ages. We get people here, uh, we, you know, there's a kind of a whole series of races through Florida this time of year. So we get people from up north, we've got racers from Ohio, uh, Illinois. All over the all over the U.S. come here, uh, and they just enjoy racing. And, and this is kind of a, they turn this into kind of a family vacation, and do what they love to do. Their passion is racing, and we've got plenty of that for them here. There's a lot of different types of cars here today at Palm Beach International Raceway. Can you tell me a little bit about each type? Yeah, there's several different classes. Uh, at our bracket uh, racing, we have the junior dragsters. We have uh, box cars, which have delay boxes in them. They're electronic starting aids. Um, it's a very popular class. It was our biggest field here. We have no box, which is bas basically uh, door cars, and uh, they do not have any. It's all done with foot brake, and you know it's all driver. And then you have Pro Mods, obviously, which are the quickest cars that we had here outside of the jet dragsters. Outlaw 632, they're 632 cubic inch engines. And then the uh, slingshots, or the nostalgia front engine dragsters, mm -hmm. that's a throwback to the 70s, and those, they're local guys that come out here and put on a really fun kind of a nostalgia type show. Mm -hmm. And all the people love those, and yeah. especially the jet cars too. They got the fire, the heat, the speed. Everybody loved the jet, the jet cars here. They put on an amazing show with the fire. You know, and then the pops as they approach the line. You know, it's 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 all your senses are engaged when you watch a jet car run down the track. It's, exactly. Everybody loves those. And those engines are from a General Electric J85, right off of fighter jets. Yeah. So they go about 270 miles an hour in only five and a half seconds, which is insane for a drag strip. These cars have a lot of personality. I mean. You look at the driver, you look at the car, and you can tell they're a perfect match. Liz and racers, they, I mean, these are their babies, and you can see the way they have them graphicked and, and mm -hmm. built. You know, it's an extension of them, yeah. and they love coming out here and showing that off. And we, we love having having, ever, having them out here, you know, putting on a great show for the fans. It's, it's, it's a great way yeah. to spend a day or an evening out here. And it's great because you have the fans, and then you have the racers. So it's, it's yep. entertainment, but these guys get to have a blast on the track going yeah, I mean, look, on the back of that car there, today is my day to win. I mean, who I doesn't love that? They they love this car. That's a beautiful car. Yeah, I mean, there's some great, great looking machines out here. I mean, you know, you never get tired of it. I'm around it all the time, and you still, you see something new come out here, and somebody's done something a little different with their car. Yeah. You just love seeing how creative people are. Yeah, and and, so and, it, and they, they put so much into this. I mean, it's not a hobby for these guys. This is a these guys, These guys put a lot into it. And you can see in the way their equipment gets yeah. turned out here. Yeah. It's a great, great place to showcase, you know, what their passion is.
So, what is it like to be there right on the starting line? Can you take me through a run and what's going through your mind when you go down the track? Well, it, it's, it's pretty intense, but um, when you get up to the starting line, you want to just make sure you, you stage your car properly and that you're not going to red light or, you know, you got to get on a button and get up on the, the throttle or get on the converter real quick and everything happens very quick. The tree comes down fast and there's really two races in drag racing, your reaction time and the actual car going down the track. So you can have a real fast car and a bad reaction time and you can lose. So you got to really be good on both ends of the track.